What is up guys, Pure Ice Cold here bringing you guys another Pure Ice advice and today is how to do a commentary. Basically, how to execute a solid commentary. And before we get into that, more Witcher 2 gameplay in the background. If you guys are liking this game, definitely let me know and I will make some videos on it. There are some pretty cool boss fights and stuff. I'm about to get into my first one. But uh, anyways, so into the commentary. How to execute a solid commentary. Now, there are tons of advice out there. You can go watch tons of people on how to do um, a solid commentary, how where to start, how to begin, how to choose a topic, all that good stuff. And um, guys, let's get into my advice on my own opinions on this. Um, one is the topic. The topic is very, very important. You want something that's not going to be boring. You don't want something that's like you saw in the news, like locally someone did this. You want something, you know, like you want something that's going to be entertaining that's what you're here for you're here to entertain people so you want something that the, the viewer is going to you know kind of be like whoa what and like really pay attention to your video and feel entertained and stay and watch your entire video because that's what it's all about that's what all you know youtube's all about you want people to stay so you want to pick a good topic and i guess i could kind of give a little bit of advice on picking a topic um picking the topic you do not want something that tons of people are doing and if they are doing, you maybe want to look at it, trying to do it a different way. So say, for instance, this whole YouTube thing going on with, you know, the whole copyright and all this kind of stuff and, you know, removing audio and all that kind of thing going on with YouTube right now. Everyone's kind of doing it from the point of view of being a YouTuber, maybe back up and look at it from the point of view from the publishers or the developers and all that kind of stuff. So maybe, you know, you can kind of change a commentary and make it look like that and comment and Topics are really hard to decide. I mean, definitely you want to do something that you're in your comfort zone about. You want to do something that you are going to be very informative about. Informative about. You don't want to do something that you have no idea what you're talking about. It's just going to be, you know, really lame. It's going to sound like you're all over the place in your commentary. You want something you're very informative about and know what you're talking about. And uh, next is you want to write it down. That I've heard that from many YouTubers. And I was like, oh, I don't need to write it down. I'll just freestyle it. And I actually found myself writing down, writing down, you know, my beginning, my middle, and my end of my videos. It does help out a lot. Definitely if you have no idea kind of really what you want to do. Because I do have the problem, you guys, if, for those of you who have watched my videos, you know I have the problem of saying something, going to the next part, saying that, and then jumping back to previously what I said and add on to it a little bit. So I know that can be annoying. And I know that can be like very... Yeah, just annoying. So I, I do try to stop doing that and try to make it short, sweet, to the point, get the points out there. So that's another thing, guys. You want to get straight to the point in your videos. You don't want to dilly-dally about the gameplays and all this. You just People click your video. They want to know what you're talking about. So jump right into the topic. So I mean, don't sit there and talk about the gameplay forever. Jump into the topic. Go for it. So yeah, make your beginning, middle, and end. And you want to keep your videos under, I'd say, six minutes. Because you, the odd, I mean, the odds of people watching your videos that are like eight minutes long are a lot fewer than people who are gonna watch your videos that are like maybe five minutes long. Like this video is pretty short. You know, I'm 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 on point. I'm not really going into detail about everything. So I'm trying to keep it short. That's what you want to do. You want to keep your videos short, straight to the point. And, you know, maybe help out someone or you know your top your you know your topic straight to the point. People know what you're talking about. Your opinion on it, that kind of thing. So be straight to the point on your topics. And I mean, that's, that's basically it guys. I mean, I know it's not like very much, but honestly, that's all you really need. You want to be, you want to have a strong topic, you know, be informative, something that people are, you know, is going to catch people's attentions, that kind of thing. Next, I mean, you want to stay on topic. So write down what you're going to talk about beginning, middle and end and keep it under six minutes. That is like the easiest thing ever. I mean, yes, there are other things, you know, with like mic quality and all that kind of stuff. And I, I, I'll actually uh, recommend a, um, a nice like voice kind of thing. Like, I don't know what to really call it. Voice software, enhance your voice software. So if you have like, you know, you're working with like a Turtle Beach microphone or something that's not like a snowball or anything from Blue, you want to check out this program, guys. It's called Audacity. So check that out. Look it up on YouTube. Type in Audacity. Look at tutorials and see what it does. It'll actually improve your microphone quite a bit. It, it cancels out all the background noise. So if you have a fan on or if you have like some annoying like me kind of noise in the background, it'll get rid of that. So you have a nice solid, they just hear your voice and it sounds crisp and clean. 
It does actually improve the Yeti and Snowball a little bit. I don't really use it. I do use it on some of my other commentaries, but I don't really use it all that much because the Yeti is a great microphone. I don't really have kind of background noise. But anyways, guys, definitely thank you for watching. I know the dragon is attacking right now. What a horrible place to stop. But I will bring another video. I will have The Witcher 2 in the background. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching and look forward to my next uh, video. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Later.